two of the glamour clubs in English football, but real substance at the core of both Manchester City and Arsenal. They meet here in the city of Manchester, and we're just about ready to go with live coverage on EA TV. Well, the weather has certainly cooperated. Beautiful conditions here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City up against Arsenal. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is... An opportunity! Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Plenty of support here. Erling Haaland! It could be up for grabs. And putting his body on the line. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So the ball is running again at one all. Foden. Saka, White, and City coming away with it. Ederson, and it's Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus, and a goal in the lead again, fully deserved. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. So City get the match restarted. Can they come up with an equaliser having conceded? De Bruyne. Looked as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Over the touchline for what will be an Arsenal throw. Inside he goes, making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Foden. It is advantage Manchester City here. And the intention was to let the play flow, but no real advantage forthcoming. And now a free kick. And a fine cross, and you need your defender to take charge. Oh, managing to beat him. Played into the box. Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. Alvarez. Holland. Oh, the threat is there. Foden. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Oh. 
Arsenal could be on to something. Will he finish? Chance maybe. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Walker. And it's Ruben Dias. Foden. Holland. City unable to retain possession. Erling Haaland. And he read it superbly. Havertz. And a tidy challenge. And support available. Cross fired over. Absolutely nothing wrong with the idea, but no end product. Giving them a different option, but oh, that is a goal from long range. He won't soon forget. Absolutely right out of the top drawer. Well, here it is again. And wow, just take a look at this. He's absolutely nailed this one. What a strike that is from distance. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Kevin De Bruyne. On the ball, Ruben Dias. Holland. The ball back with Arsenal now. Gabriel Jesus. Cuts it back. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. So the game continues, and Arsenal cantering to victory now. Martin Odegaard. Havertz. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. <laughs> Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, the goalkeeper made it look as though there was no pressure on him whatsoever. And that is going to be all for the first 45 then, here at the Etihad Stadium. Well, Erling Haaland not nearly as influential as we've come to expect, Stuart. He just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening. So the second half underway, and City left with a real mountain to climb. And a timely intervention. And nicely struck, and the keeper getting across to stop it. Now sending it in. Textbook goalkeeping following the corner. Fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection. So now a throw in. And it will be an Arsenal free kick.
And a simple clearance, a good one. Holland. It could be for De Bruyne. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Wonderful block. Gabriel Martinelli. And a chance, Odegaard. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And he's hit it with authority. 30 minutes to go then. A City free kick forthcoming. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Number two, Kyle Walker. Manuel Akanji. The ball with Rodri. Showing a lot of guile there. It's a perfect challenge. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Stones. Vardiol now a decent position a good and fair challenge Martin Odegaard into the final 20 minutes And City have possession once more. De Bruyne. Manuel Akanji. Advantage, Arsenal. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? And no worries for the goalkeeper. Holland and a fine tackle this could be troublesome Marcinelli can he finish and the keeper there to deal with it a change in the offing for City Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not the most confident clearance. And that's a straightforward stop. Foden. Arsenal's free kick here. Substitution for Arsenal. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Number 29, Kai Havertz.
he takes it on. Well, you can't argue with finishing like that. Superb stuff. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? The athleticism, the connection, the accuracy, that's a great goal. Well, that's not a happy manager at all. Pep Guardiola knows he's got a lot of work to do now. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Alvarez. De Bruyne now. Good distribution. And the decision offside here. Rodri. Oh, in with a chance. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. He's done remarkably well to get himself forward here, Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Corner kick played in. Well, when you attempt a bicycle kick, you've got to get it spot on, Stuart. Well, he just makes the wrong contact, doesn't he? The intent was right, but the end product is way off target. The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. Manuel Akanji. It is advantage Manchester City here. He's in with a chance. Oh, he stopped it. Well, I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. Over it comes. So there it is, the final whistle, and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.